Richard! Mary! What is going on? It's the dead of night! We don't have a lot of time, May. Not enough time to explain. All we can tell you is this. We have to leave. We don't know when we'll be back. We need to leave Peter with you. Peter? What about- She's fine. She's safe with her father. We need you to promise that you'll keep him safe too. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Oh gosh. R Richard, please, can't you- No, I can't. We have to go. Give me just a second, love. I want to go with you, Mommy. I know, baby, but you can't. Now, you be a good boy, okay, Peter? Let Aunt May and Uncle Ben take good care of you. I'll come see you again when we can. Please do. A boy needs his parents. Mary, come on. We have to leave. I'm coming, Richard. Please, keep him safe. Goodbye, Peter. It's gonna be okay. Let's get him inside. You must be freezing, kid. In recent news, Oscorp scientist Richard Parker and his wife Mary have died in a car crash late last night. Oh my god. This can't be real. There's no way that was a coincidence. Something happened to- Aunt May? Uncle Ben? What's wrong? Peter, um, it, it, it's okay, honey. Just just go and get some sleep. We'll talk about it in the morning. Okay. Ben, what are we gonna do? Well, you said it yourself. A boy needs his parents. Genius Log, day one. Is that the right way to start a log? Anyways, today is my first day of sophomore year. I figured I would keep a log of all the things that go along this semester. Not like anything is going to be different. I just figured this would be a fun way to pass the time. I bet Mr. Fantastic does it, and he's one of the smartest superheroes of all time! Yeah! <laughs> Jeez, May! You could've warned me first! Sorry, Peter. These drivers aren't paying attention. So many parents here who think they know how to drive. I think those are students, actually. Oh, whatever. I think I can let you out here. That's all right, sweetheart? Yeah, sure. Fine by me. All right. Have a good first day of school, honey. I love you. Love you too, Aunt May. Extensions of Genius Log, day one. High school. The battleground of life. Midtown isn't bad for what it's got. Sadly, what it's got is jocks that I'm too smart for, girls I'm too nerdy for, and geeks that somehow I'm too geeky for. Whatever. I don't need friends anyway. You just get in the way of what's really important. Who needs some pal to talk your ear off when you can be introducing the world to the next amazing fuel source or a new advance in the chemical engineering? Whoa. I mean, having a girl like Liz Allen wouldn't be a complaint. Like Mr. Fantastic. He has Sue Storm. Imagine. A girl like her? A guy like me? A life like. I was in the middle of doing my makeup. Come on, Lizzie. We all know you don't need that. No. Flash is gonna start picking on her. I, I can't just sit there and let that happen. Whatever, Flash. I'm busy. Come on, I know you want to see me. But tomorrow night, at 8? Leave her alone! <laughs> what did you say? I, I said, leave her alone. Look at her face. I know she doesn't want to go out with you, Flash. In fact, I bet she'd like to go out with someone smart and caring. Like me. Who are you again? What? Uh, 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 I'm... Liz, that right there is Puny Parker, Midtown High's star nerd. And Parker, it seems you haven't met Liz Allen. His girlfriend. G -g girlfriend? His? Oh, wait, Flash, please, hear me out! Hear you out on what, Puny Parker? On how you tried to ask out my girl in front of me? N no I didn't even know you two were dating! Honest! I wouldn't have asked if I knew! Look at this, everyone. Peter thinks he has balls. <laughs> uh, let's see if he does. Flash? What are you- Come on, Puny Parker. Square up. 
Let's fight. Uh, fight? I don't want to fight you. Bullcrap. Come on, fight me. There we go. Give this lovely crowd a fight to remember. I, I don't want to fight. Too bad. <laughs> what a wimp. He didn't even hit you. Look at that. Parker ain't got balls after all. Barely worth the time to find out. Liz, I... Uh, I was just trying to... How could you ever think I'd go out with some geek freak like you? Genius's log. Worst first day ever. Ben, you all right under there? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a few more... <clears throat> ah! This stupid mother... Hey! Watch your language. Peter's gonna be home soon, and I don't want that language in my house anyways. Oh, please. He hears plenty more of what I say in that school of his. Kids nowadays have sailor mouths because of all the media and stuff. Well, my point still stands. Sailor mouth. Ah, ah, Captain. <laughs> now, is that who I think it is? How was your first day back, champ? I don't want to talk about it. Why wouldn't he... Oh. Peter... What happened? I said I don't want to talk about it. Now, Peter, you need to talk to us about these things. If someone is bothering you at school- It sucked, okay? Does that answer your question? It sucked and I was reminded that no matter how hard I try, I will never get people to like me and I'll still always end up as the human target. Peter, you have been coming home with faces like that for as long as high school has started. Can't you give us some detail on who's doing this to you? It wouldn't do anything if I did. He'd just keep bullying me. Wow. That's the most information we've gotten in a year. Ben, enough with the snark. I know, I know. <sighs> Peter, I'm really sorry your day didn't go as you hoped. Truly. As am I. You deserve greatness and happiness, not sadness and rejection. Well, thank you guys. Seriously. Can I go upstairs? I think I need to sleep. Yeah, of course. I gotta head to work. Can you talk to him? Yeah, of course. I doubt he's sleeping anyways. Alright, I'll see you later. Love you! Love you too. You're not fooling me, Petey. I know you're awake. Jeez, Uncle Ben. You're worse than a room full of alarm clocks. Your Aunt May had to go to work early, so she cooked us her meatloaf. But if you want something more edible, we could also get something else. I do love her world-famous wheat kicks. Come on, Pete. Gotta move, or we'll be late for the spider exhibit tour at ESU. That's today? Can't we skip it? Peter, we've been planning this for weeks. It cost an arm and a leg to get these tickets. I know, it's just... I'm not feeling well, Uncle Ben. I know, kid. You gotta tell me, though. What's wrong? What happened at school today? It's... <sighs> it's this kid. Flash. Flash Thompson. And his friends. They pick on me. Verbally. They call me names. Scare me. Flash and his friends were picking on some kid at lunch, and I tried to stop them, but then they just turned on me instead. Even the kid I've tried to help. It turned out the kid was Flash's girlfriend. I just... I feel like an idiot. Peter, you did the right thing. How? I barely did any good for me. If I just minded my own business and left things alone, I'd be fine. Peter, if you can do good things for others, you have a moral obligation to do those things. That's called responsibility, and that's what's at stake when it comes to situations like these. Do you ignore responsibility, or do you fulfill it? I... guess so. Now, come on, don't let the world keep you down. Let's go check out those spiders, okay? Okay. Let's go. Are you sure I like this, Ben? It just looks like we're heading into the city. Don't speak too soon. Campus is just around the corner. Alright. Whoa. Whoa! This looks so cool! You more excited now, kid? Yeah! This school looks amazing! I so want to go here when I graduate! <laughs> Maybe you will. I'm sure you'll get in with your grades. Uncle Ben, let's go! 
Peter, it's still gonna be there when we get there. Slow down. Wow! I can't believe it. This looks amazing. I, I, I don't even know which one I want to do first. Neither do I. They all look so weird. Ooh, ooh! What about that one? Max Modell's eight-legged genetics? Yeah! I want to know what genetics he's talking about! I've always wanted to learn about that! You're the boss. Looks like they're about to start. Yeah! Let's go get seats! Thank you everyone for showing up to my presentation. My name is Max Modell. I'm a graduate here from ESU. And over there is my fiancé Hector. If anything goes wrong, he's in charge and he's what was wrong. <laughs> Welcome to Max Modell's Eight-Legged Genetics. At the ESU Sponsored Spider Exhibit, my exhibit is dedicated to exploring and analyzing the genetic structures of spiders and what makes them what they are. Here, we have a selection of multiple different spiders, each with very unique capabilities defined by their genetic structure. Now, spiders have always been interesting to me. Wow, Despite how this is more advanced than I thought, Uncle Ben. What unique capabilities do you think the spiders have? Hopefully the ones that make them not want to crawl on my face. <laughs> Good one, Uncle Ben. Which is how I got into the field of arachnogenetics. Which is the name I'm throwing around in my living room as I ramble my findings to Hector, who really doesn't care. <laughs> but enough about me. Let's go over all of these. First we have the Buffy Serdum California. The California Trapdoor Spider. This spider is capable of moving an object around 40 times its own body weight. Next, we have the Phidippus Oddix, the bold jumping spider, capable of jumping 10 to 50 times its own body length and has incredibly good eyesight for spiders. And now, I feel jealous considering this blasted piece of metal on my face. <laughs> I like this guy, he's funny. Definitely makes the crawlies a little easier to handle. Now, an interesting characteristic of spiders are their senses. As spiders do not have ears, the individual sensitive hairs on a spider's body help them sense vibrations in the air. A curious defense mechanism. Now with all these genetic marvels, it got me thinking. The society we live in puts too much focus on the enhancement of humans. Why not the ecosystem we reside next to? Why not help a food chain along? Help them thrive? Oh, which is why... I'm here to show you a never-before-seen discovery. Nay, not a discovery. A creation. What is that? Behold! The Arania Modellus. A brilliant super spider with strength capable of lifting 80 times the strength can jump up to 75 times its own length and a sense of vibration so sensitive it can nearly see the future. Allow me to demonstrate with this needle. Notice how the spider dodges. Imagine what doors this can open. The possibility of enhancing creatures to their fullest potential. Now I will take questions for anyone who is interested. Hmm. Hmm? Yes, you in the back. Have a question? No, oh, but my nephew sure does. What? Uncle Ben, what the heck? Come on, Peter, I know you wanted to. Yeah, but I... No need to be shy, my boy. Come on up. No question is a dumb question. I... I guess... So... so many... many people. people... It's okay. It's okay. You can, you do, can it. do it. Well... Uh, uh... Well... Uh... Don't worry, my boy. Take your time. Take some breaths. Whew. Well, I, uh, I was wondering how you were able to keep the genetic and physical structure of the spider stable when introducing the different genes of other spiders to it. Well, that's one great question, my boy. You see, the spiders we used as a base were simple house spiders. Unremarkable by any means, but plain enough to be enhanced. Wait a minute. Uh, Dr. Modell? Yes, my boy? There's only 14 spiders in the terrarium. What? What? Hector, do you know anything about this? I probably took it back to my lab for study and forgot it there. Not a big deal. Uh, no need to worry, everyone. I'm sure the spider is safe. Ow! What? What the? 
Oh. 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 Uh, Dr. Modell, I think I found your spider. Peter? Peter? Peter! Peter! Someone call 911!